Okay. All right, good. Got the audio going here. Okay, that's good. Looks like everything is where it needs to be. Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik coming to you live on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook this morning. Hope everybody's having a great start to Friday morning. Few storms out across the Mid-South. No major problems being seen. Definitely no severe weather out there, but we're also going to be seeing, again, the possibility for more chances for showers and thunderstorms a little bit later on this weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything you'd like to see on on here. Love to know about it, but I can't do it unless you let me know what's going on out there. So here's where you go to austin.onic at wrg.com. Forecast information in the blue bar right there. Social media information in the red bar up there and over there on the screen. And again, for everybody who's wanting to know more about the forecast, we'll talk more about what's going on here coming up in just a little bit. Susan Barati Epps, hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Feel free to share our video around so everybody knows a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. We'll continue to see, again, some fairly quiet conditions early, but could be some more problems later on for today. We'll talk about that here in just a little while. Currently, again, seeing little, if anything, in the way of major amounts of rainfall out there for the Memphis metro area area. There's little, if anything, going on just as of right now left over little, if anything, again, in the way of thunderstorms for right now. Heaviest activity by far is in between uh, by Halia and down through just to the south of the Olive Branch area, making its way over toward the east-southeast and will continue again to make its way into western Marshall County in Mississippi. That's where we're seeing the heaviest activity and a few lightning strikes up around Moscow down to the south of the Rossville area, but beyond that, there's just not really that much going on for the Mid-South. Zooming out to see the entire picture, Heavier thunderstorms around Bethel Springs Elementary uh, into and around the area close to just south of Jackson approaching the Tennessee River and the Shiloh area from the west. That activity goes up around I-40 and just to the west of Parker's Crossroads getting some more areas of act activity there. More possibilities of rainfall again throughout the rest of the day could be looking a lot more like this through the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is what you're going to be having to deal with out there. Northern Mississippi, if we're around Holly Springs, north of Abbeville, north of Oxford, I'd be keeping on my eye on this. This could be making its way into Holly Springs pretty soon around the Potts Camp area as well. Julia Cavallo, welcome with sunny skies from Walls, Mississippi for this morning. And also seeing again some fairly quiet conditions uh, into portions of the Mid-South. Excuse me just one second here while I get my microphone set up and fairly ready to go, at least fairly close anyway. Hope everybody can hear me out there without too many problems. That'll do it for, again, a look at radar. Much of what we're seeing right now in the way of anything involving uh, heavier amounts of rainfall out across the Mid-South, pretty much gone. Could be the possibility of, again, some limited amounts of severe weather into around portions of southeastern parts of the viewing area. So Corinth, Tupelo, you're going to be seeing a possibility of some more stronger storms in that location. Not that much going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South area. Across the entire United States, we've got, again, some pretty blisteringly hot conditions out around the Pacific Northwest. That's where we're seeing, again, a decent amount of some scattered areas of 100-degree readings or more. And that's going to continue onwards throughout the course of the next uh, couple of days, looking at some pretty steamy conditions out that direction. Now here in the Mid-South, little of anything really going on at this time and not that much happening immediately later this weekend. We'll talk more about that in the forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Currently, again, into the next couple of days, what we are going to be looking for is, again, this latest storm system, our newest cold front, making its way on down to the south of us, and that's going to continue on that direction heading down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to have the added bonus of getting rid of the rainfall, making its way into around portions of the Midwest, going off toward the East Coast states and giving them some much-needed rainfall. But as we get into the rest of the weekend, new storm system dives its way out of the Rockies, and that could be giving us, again, the potential for even more heavier amounts of rainfall. Now, that's something we are going to have to watch. Could be the potential of, again, some showers and thunderstorms out there, which could be a bit of a problem into the latter part of the weekend. That's where we're going to be seeing the worst of the worst activity out there, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Most of what we're seeing, again, for the rest of the week is going to be looking like this. Temperatures, again, for the rest of the day will be back into the lower to mid-80s. Again, that 
that's not going to be too bad for this time of the year. Temperatures, again, much improved from what we saw just a couple of days ago. Low temperatures tonight, this is where it gets very nice out there. Low temperatures heading back into around the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, so decently quiet conditions across much of the Mid-South area into the next day or so. Chances of rainfall will be with us through the evening but they will be leaving us down toward the south and the east, and that'll be taking us into a very sunny, warm, and pleasant Saturday coming up with temperatures for highs back into the mid-80s or so across much of the area. Now getting into the latter portion of the weekend as we head towards Saturday night, lows back not quite as cool into the mid to upper 60s or so, and chances of rainfall not showing up just yet. Now highs on Sunday, that's where it gets a little bit on the warm side out there. Thanks in part to, again, the a little bit more sunshine early during the day. But as we go towards Sunday morning into the afternoon, that's where we see more chances of showers and thunderstorms for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. And that's going to continue right on into Sunday night. So if you have any plans for outdoors, Saturday is going to be much better than Sunday. And Sunday, you're only going to be able to get stuff in very early in the morning before the rain really starts to make its way on through. Low temperatures on Sunday night back into the lower to mid 70s and heading for high temperatures on Monday, going back into the lower to mid 80s with widespread chances of showers and thunderstorms all the way through not only Monday, but over the next several days beyond that, Isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms will be a possible problem, and that again could spell some difficulties for outdoor activities. So if you have plans out there, remember the catchphrase, when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's all pay attention to what's going on with the forecast over the course of the next several days. We'll keep you updated here, so stay tuned for more on that. Severe weather at this time. The Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal threat for northeastern parts of Mississippi, but that more than likely will be going away into the course of the next several hours as we see that front make its way away from us and down to the south. Now, there's still going to be chances of showers and thunderstorms through about midday. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. What do we have during the rest of the weekend? Well, not a lot for Saturday. I want to focus in on Sunday real quick with a decent bullseye, a marginal threat for severe weather right over the mid-south area. So we could be looking at some stronger thunderstorms as we get into Sunday. That's something we're really going to have to watch out for. Uh, here at the News Channel 3 studios, we'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the weekend. So keep it tuned for more updates on what could be some severe weather coming our way as we get into Sunday. More information, again, available on my Facebook page. If you haven't been here before, at facebook.com slash AustinOnic, W-R-E-G. Uh, great opportunity to learn more about weather and all kinds of neat stuff, so drop on by and take a look. Also on my Twitter page at twitter.com slash Aonic underscore W-R-E-G-3. And also on my Instagram page, Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3, tons of weather and pictures from around the house and around the community, sunset, sunrise, life in the News Channel 3 studios, updates when we get them, and again, would love to have you along for the ride. Uh, great opportunity to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South, and would love to know more about what you're doing out there, so please let us know and drop by some of those social media websites. Currently, again, in the Mid-South, we have really little, if anything, in the way of severe weather taking place at this time, but we will see the possibility of more of these chances of showers and thunderstorms over the rest of the day today and right on into this evening. So as long as this cold front is around the area, we will continue to see again the possibility of more of these thunderstorms out there. So we'll keep track of that and let you know more about what's going on into the rest of the day today. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on air and online. Drop by again, austin.onic at wreg.com for more information. would love to hear from you and give you more details as to what's going on in your neck of the woods. And we'll have details throughout the rest of the weekend coming up on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining us today on Facebook, also on Periscope and Twitter, and stay tuned for more information from News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, and I'll have more details for you today on Live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look at what the weather's doing with News Channel 3.